Congressman Louis Gohmert was at today's hearing. You're about to hear from him. Watch as Gohmert questions Mueller, and that colloquy quickly turns into sniping. Watch. And if somebody knows they did not conspire with anybody from Russia to affect the election, and they see the big Justice Department with people that hate that person coming after them, and then a special counsel appointed who hires dozen or more people that hate that person, and he knows he's innocent. He's not corruptly acting in order to see that justice is done. What he's doing is not obstructing justice. He is pursuing justice, and the fact that you General ran it out two years means General you perpetuated General injustice. I take General your, General I take your General question. Gentlemen's time has expired. The witness may answer the question. I take your question. <laughs> Congressman Louis Gohmert of Texas joins us. Now, Congressman, thanks for coming on. So you were there. You spoke to the former special counsel. What, what was your assessment of his condition, of what he said after talking to him? Well, he is uh, older. He's lost a rung or two on the ladder. But uh, uh, I was telling our guys um, early on, right after he started, uh, there's no question his staff has been telling him, if you mention the report, He's going to ask you which volume, which page. He's going to take up as much of your five minutes as he can, uh, you know, taking his time. Gee, what was that? Uh, so I thought some of it was an act. Some of it, uh, you know, he's just an older gentleman. But that does not excuse him putting this country through hell as a special prosecutor dragging this thing out. I don't know if you were aware, but back last summer, I uh, was on with Harris Faulkner, and she was saying, well, Rudy Giuliani saying he's going to be done for the end of the summer. He doesn't want to elect the election. I said, he doesn't know Mueller like I do. This guy's going to keep this thing going as long as he can, and he's certainly not going to end it before the 2018 election. I knew the guy. I knew he wouldn't do that. He would probably have continued if we hadn't had a strong attorney general come in and see that he had nothing after two years. This is my speculation, but I, I think uh, if Wiseman had been left to his own purposes, he would have kept going on and on. So, so I do think we... May I ask you yeah, to pause ahead, there sure. and just clarify yeah. something, Congressman? So you're saying that from what you know of the information he gathered, he could have wrapped this up before the midterm election in 2018. Yeah, yeah. he was careful to say he wasn't going to answer when he knew that uh, there was no conspiracy, collusion, whatever you want to call it, but law calls it conspiracy. He wouldn't say, but it was clear he knew early on. And in fact, we all knew way back over a year ago that there was nothing there on the conspiracy with the Russian agents, that it was a bunch of garbage. He could have ended this yeah. back then, but he chose to affect an election. It was also clear from the hearing today that Weissman must have been the driving force in all of this. Well, exactly, exactly. And that, I think, I think that, that, that's been clear for a long time, but it was crystal clear yeah. today. Congressman, thank yeah, you uh, for that. Good Tucker, to see you. Tucker, thanks for your clarity. You've, you've seen it all along.